face-to-face -face meeting President Trump Vladimir Putin and it was President Trump who did not ignore the elephant in the room Russian meddling in the US election they would shake hands several times the president telling him it is an honor Putin responding in kind but Putin's response to the president when he brought up Russian meddling was far different and all of it played out as protests filled the streets the violence spreading about 200 officers hurt fires set and the images coming in at this hour but first, Vladimir Putin saying he did not hack the U.S. election and President Trump appearing ready now to move on. ABC Cecilia Vega traveling with the president. It was only supposed to last about 35 minutes, but President Trump and Vladimir Putin had so much to say, their meeting went on and on for a full two hours and 16 minutes. The cameras allowed in briefly to witness that high stakes face to face. President Trump reaching out to shake the hand of the man accused of meddling in America's election. Much. There was smiling and small talk. Before they got down to business, there was even a back pat. But even before President Trump brought up Russia's election meddling, he said this. President Putin and I have been discussing various things, and I think it's going very well. We've had some very, very good talks. We look forward to a lot of very positive things happening for Russia, for the United States. It's an honor to be with you. Thank you. And Vladimir Putin returned the compliment, saying he was pleased to meet President Trump, hoping their first meeting would have, quote, positive results. Just 24 hours earlier, the president said election meddling could have been Russia, it could have been others. But today, when the doors closed, the White House says President Trump raised the issue right out of the gate. What happened next, each side tells a different story. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson was in the room. He says the president repeatedly pressed the issue and that Putin denied Russia's involvement. The president at this point, he pressed him and then, you know, felt like at this point, let's, let's talk about how do we go forward. So the president stopped pressing. There was not a lot of relitigating of the past. Tillerson's Russian counterpart, Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, was also in the room. He says President Trump heard Putin's denial and accepted it. The White House tonight says that is not the case. The two moving on from election meddling, which the president's own intelligence community blames squarely on Russia. They say Vladimir Putin ordered it, motivated by animosity toward Hillary Clinton. Secretary Tillerson today said the issue may remain unresolved. And the Senate's top Democrat called that, quote, disgraceful. The marathon meeting went on so long, at one point, First Lady Melania Trump entered the room trying to get them to wrap it up. They went on for another hour after that. But the two men, not the only ones who seemed to hit it off. Just hours later, cameras capturing these images of the First Lady and Putin chatting and smiling and seated together for dinner. And Cecilia Vega with us live from Germany tonight. Cecilia, Democrats outraged the president appears ready to move on. The Russians saying the president accepted Putin's response that he didn't do it. The White House tonight pointing out an accomplishment, common ground on Syria. Exactly right, David. A ceasefire in the south southwestern part of the country. This deal reached by the U.S., Russia, and Jordan. Previous deals just like this one have not lasted very long, David. It remains to be seen whether this one will stick. We'll be watching. And Cecilia, we know it wasn't just that face-to-face -face meeting with Vladimir Putin. President Trump was also asked on the world stage with Mexico's president right beside him whether he still expects Mexico to pay for the wall. His first meeting with Peña Nieto since taking office, David, and his answer to that question, absolutely, he expects Mexico to pay for this wall. Behind closed doors, without the cameras there, though, David, Mexico says the wall never even came up. All right, Cecilia Vega leading us off, traveling with the president for us. Cecilia, thank you.